What is up guys, Poncho Cortez, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about Big Daddy Pomade, the pomade that is named after me. <laughs> I know you love that shit, man. But yeah, no, this is actually a pomade that, you know, I have to say isn't really that well known in on the pomade market, but it's actually a really good one. I feel like this one's very underrated. So this is just the container itself when I bought it at the mall at, from Señor Calacas. This was the actual container itself. So right here, this is just the overall look to it, and I think it's really good. So, you know, there's their logo, which I think is far better than the um, Layrite logo almost, because this one has a bit more detail. And it's got that vintage Hollywood um, look and style to it with, with the artwork. So it's got the triple X hold, you know, 50% more water-soluble argyle oil. Basically, their ingredients. The back, um, it's made in California. Basic stuff like that. So, taking it out of the can, or the box that is, this is the can. This is the overall look to it. It's a six ouncer. It's again, California logo. So, it's made domestic domestic to me since it's in my neck of the woods, but yeah. Um, overall, though, I think it's a really good pomade. So, just, you know, hair wise, this is the appearance that it gives you right here. It definitely can grip a pompadour for sure. I liked it a lot. I used it today. And it worked pretty well, I have to say, um, even though, you know, today was pretty hot, it was in the 80s, you know, my hair would melt a little bit, and, um, you know, because I stay indoor, you know, since since it's a school day, um, because I stay indoor, you know, I would just wet it, recomb it, and just like that, no problems whatsoever. So this is a water-soluble pomade, so, you know, you take a shower, all out. So, um... Now that we have that taken care of, the actual pomade itself, which is it, it has a red appearance. It looks similar to the um, Suavecito teak wood, which um, has the red appearance as well, and almost similar in um, scent-wise. Not the exact same scent, but just the style of scent. So when I first smelled it, you know, it was close to like an herbal scent, you know, something that's very sophisticated, um, like a bergamot. Um, so that kind of scent to it. It was it was actually really good. I would say it's um you know it's kind of a um all year scent. You know it's really good. I liked it a lot. I'm gonna try to stop being generic with my words, but you know, like I said, excellent scent. I loved it. So, you know, actually it's a really subtle scent too. You know, it's not something that overpowers you or whatnot. You know, it's just very subtle. You kind of have to like go in there, go in there to smell it. So right here, the actual application of it. This is a stronghold, so, you know, it gives you a little bit more resistance. Um, you do pull out a crap load of pomade, though, as you can see, just from one scoop. So be careful with that, guys, because you want to avoid pulling out a whole bunch of pomade, honestly. Just because it could really weigh down your hair to the point where you can't pop it. Um, you know, I do believe in using plenty of it, but I do not use believe in overdoing it as well. So, this is it. This is the overall grip and look to it. Um, shine wise, you know, it's a little bit matted out, you know, just because it's been a long day. That's going to happen with almost any water base that you try out, especially one that's, you know, dependent on grip. Um, you know, the one thing I don't mind though about some matted out pomades is just the fact that, you know, if you, um, if you got a pomp that's a little bit messy, that's no problem because matte, um, with matte products, you get you get to get away with a little bit more mess, but you know since this one has also has a decent decent shine to it, you get you get both best of both worlds, honestly. Um, so this is it, the pomade itself. Um, when I did comb it though, it did give me a little bit of tug and pull so, um, when I was using the white tooth that is right here. So you know when I was combing it a little bit, it was giving me a little bit of resistance. You know you still got your loose hairs up here and whatnot. It was a bit of the pain. Uh, it was a bit of a pain in the neck, to say the least. Um, uh, stiff wise, you know, it did take a while for it to stiffen. You know, so that's something I'd um, watch out for if you're um, if you're styling a pompadour. You know, just let it dry out a little bit, and then start styling it a bit, and then um, just finish off from there. Just so that way you're not overdoing it to the point where it's gonna retain. You're gonna take off uh, some of the pomade because of how dried out it is. Um, I'd say a good um, sit out time is about two to three minutes. That's it, and then you just start combing it. So slick it back first, and then you actually um, go on to the sculpting process. 
but um, say the least, to say the least, it was a good pomade, I have to say. I would recommend getting it. Um, weird thing is, is that um, Big Daddy Pomade doesn't actually have their own website. They are dependent on um, different sellers. Um, one of them being Senor Calacas, which I picked up in store at the mall. Um, you can get it online on Mr. Pomade, I believe, or pomade.com. One of those websites, I'll have for a link for it below in the description. But yeah, that is the actual pomade. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, peace. Like, share, subscribe, and check out more videos coming soon.